Hello everyone, my name is Balash from WPCookhouse.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add an add-on domain to your Bluehost account. So basically when you have a shared, shared uh, account at Bluehost or at any other web host provider, basically it is associated with one domain. And whenever you want to host another website, another domain on with this plan, you need an add-on domain. It's a pretty straightforward process. Let me show you how to do that on Bluehost. So when you're after you're logged in, simply go ahead and click on domains where you will see the list of your already associated domains. There is your primary domain and maybe there are other add-on domains or there is none. Today we are going to add another add-on domain which is registered with Namecheap. Uh, for me because if you register another domain with your Bluehost account it's even an easier process because Bluehost just associates that domain with your account so usually when you use the add-on feature you associate a domain which is registered with another registrant like Namecheap, GoDaddy etc and you want to host it at Bluehost so my domain is registered with Namecheap. The domain is wpseo.tips. You see it here. And the most important thing is to set the name servers to point to Bluehost name servers. I have another video about that. I'm going to link it. So if you need more information on that, please head over and check out that video. So back here in uh, your Bluehost uh, cPanel, the domains uh, sections, you need to click on assign. Basically, this is what means you need to assign another domain. You want to add an add-on domain. You might either use one domain which is already associated with your account, but usually you need to click here and type in your domain name or I just go ahead and copy and then paste it to avoid any typos and Namecheap is verifying your domain. What they are doing is basically checking if those name servers are set to or, or are pointing to uh, Bluehost. So as I told you, this is the most important step and you need to do this in advance because sometimes it uh, needs half an hour, an hour and even more to propagate all these settings through the internet. So if you find problems with uh, adding an add-on domain on Bluehost, it's, I would say, 90% of the times due to the, the bad settings. So either your name servers are not set to point to Bluehost or you've just set them like five minutes ago and you need some more time. And we are basically pretty much done uh, because here add-on domain, that's fine. That's what we need. And here you can select if you want to use an existing directory on the server to store your files or what I strongly recommend you is to create a new directory, but you can leave everything as is. Bluehost will create you a new directory so you can safely upload files here like WordPress or anything like that. And Bluehost will also associate a subdomain with your new domain, but you shouldn't worry about this. So basically, because this is an add-on domain, it will be accessible two ways. Simply entering the URL, the domain, wpseo.tips, which is the preferred way, but you can still use this domain as an add-on domain of your main domain in your account. This is mainly for developer purposes, so most people don't use that. And simply go ahead and click on assign this domain. Sometimes you need to wait like a few minutes, but we are pretty much done here. It took about a minute, a minute and a half for me and everything is fine. You can see your newly added domain here and it's list listed as an add-on domain and everything is working fine. Of course, there is nothing, uh, no content uh, associated with your domain so you still need to add your content either upload your files or install WordPress or any other CMS you would like to use uh, in your domain but your add-on domain is pretty much set everything is done and ready to be used you can check if your domain is working simply type in your new domain name wpseo.tips 
and what you should see here is something like that a, a, a generic Bluehost web page which is okay because we still don't have any content here if you don't see this thing popping up you should wait a couple of minutes it, it should take uh, usually or it takes usually four to five minutes to, to actually load this picture after you've assigned your add-on domain or you should try hitting Control plus F5 which reloads everything from the server I hope you found this information useful if you liked it please press the like button, consider subscribing for more information on websites, search engine optimization and online marketing and thank you for watching.